please, Mr. DeBell, please. I just have to get this part. Please. Please? 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 intimidate or manipulate the great Cecil B. DePille. Mr. DePille, Mr. DePille, Western DePille, Western DePille, Western DePille, Western DePille, Western DePille, And if I ever see you again, I'll split your head open with the first thing I grab. Thing I grab. Thing I grab. Thing I grab. Couldn't you get anyone better than that old past bed? Because you, DePill, will be swimming with the fishes at the bottom of the bay. 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 Powers of deduction are necessary in complicated cases. Not easy ones. It's a struggle! S-C-T-R. A, just do the A, just do the A, just do the A, just do the A. I hope somebody kills you! 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 Thanks, Gus. Isn't this great? I'm gonna be a star! I guess everybody you got involved came cheaply, including me. Well, we'll have some more money if a few things come through. I've got a big investor on the line. But you and I, I mean, you're che cheating on him with me. That's not what I think, it's exactly what I think. Why don't you go to hell? Lim blazes and play teacher and little schoolboy. Well, here don't get the part. You people don't get my money. And if you think you can get the money somewhere else, it'll be with a new director. Sometime this evening, a crime will be committed, and you, the audience, will have the opportunity to solve the mystery. Okay, action. Oh, I hate you! I hate you all! I hate you all! I hate you all! Action. I, the great Cecil B. DePille, will be holding auditions at the Winston United Methodist Church on November 9th, 1996. Barney, where did you ever find this restaurant? Did you make reservations? Yes, Lucinda, I called 379-6386 and made reservations for us for 5 p.m. However, if you'd like to come later, we can come at 7. I was told to be here at 5 for auditions and dinner. I was told to be here at 7 for auditions and dinner. I was told to be at 638th Street, Winston, for auditions. See, sir, you can have roast beef or mashed potatoes and ham and sweet potatoes. Wow. Everyone can afford to eat here. It's only $12 for adults, $11 for seniors, and $6 for children. I made my reservation for Saturday, November 9th at 639th Street in Winstead by calling 379-6386. Everyone will meet at the Winstead United Methodist Church on November 9th. The great Cecil B. DePille unknowingly has his last meal. Who kills Cecil? Come join us and help solve the murder. Okay, action. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn. On November 9, 1996, Cecil B. DePille was holding auditions for his next play, not knowing it would be his last. We see the suspects behind me. Who did it? Detective Joe Saturday knows. 
but I want you to come and help me. Be at the Winstead United Methodist Church at 630 Main Street in Winstead on November 9th at 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock. For $12 adults, $11 senior citizens, and kids 5 to 12, $6, enjoy a roast beef and ham dinner, a thought-provoking scenario, and try to solve the mystery. For reservations, call 379-6386 or 379-6339. See you there. I, the great Cecil B. DePille, will take a nine script cast and turn them into stars. That's Strogoni. S-T-R-A-G-O-N-E. Please, please, Mr. DePille. Oh, I hate you, I hate you all! presented by the United Methodist Lesbians. Tonight's play centers around director Cecil B. Deep Hill and his search for the female lead in his newest production, I Lost My Lover to the War. There are four actresses trying out for the role of Heather. The wrong choice could prove to be fatal. Sometime this evening, a crime will be committed and you, the audience, will have the opportunity to solve the mystery. Soon our cast of characters will be making their entrances. Pay close attention to what they say and do. Take notes and keep track of the relationships of the various players to one another. Later you will have the opportunity to talk with each of the characters who are still alive. <laughs> you'll receive you'll receive an account of what the police found at the scene of the crime. The characters will move from table to table and you'll be able to obtain one clue at a time. If you don't have a specific question for a character, he or she may provide you with the clue which could identify the killer or killers. <laughs> the tables compete with one another, and the first table to solve the mystery correctly will win the prize. Each clue will cost the table one dollar, so be careful in your questioning. All of our characters will be telling the truth, except, of course, anyone involved in the crime. Once you think you have the mystery solved, write down who did it, how it was done, and why. Give your solution to Joe Saturday, who you will meet later on this evening after dinner. He will put the time down when he receives your solution. In the event two or more tables arrive at the same solution, the table with the earliest time will be the winner. If you change your mind after submitting your solution, your table can put in another solution, which will have a new time. Your original solution will be thrown away. Now, our play is about to begin. 
sit back, put on your thinking caps, and see if you can be the first to solve tonight's crime. Gee, Barney, where did you ever find this place? Well, Lucinda, you said you wanted to go someplace that was off the beaten path so no one would see us. Yeah, you're right, but I didn't mean completely nowhere. Why, there's hardly anyone here. Yeah, it's early yet. Things will pick up soon. <laughs> Besides, you, we don't want anybody to see us. Yeah, the fewer people we run into, the less chance of Cecil finding out we're together. That's true. We don't want him to find out about us. After all, I am his best friend. Sometimes I feel kind of... Uh, guilty. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Pretty good husband, and I hate to see him get hurt. But you know, when the spark goes out, a girl gets restless, and lover, you light my fire. What <laughs> a fire it is. Let's go fan those flames. tryouts for the female lead in I Lost My Lover in the War in a restaurant. Basically, Wilma, it's a dollars and cents thing. This place was available right now, real cheap, as long as we get out before they have to start setting up for dinner. I was able to scrape up enough money to put on this show, but not enough for any extras. Extras? <coughs> I think a proper rehearsal hall would be essential. Well, we'll have more money soon if a couple of things fall into place. I've got a big investor on the line. It all depends on who our director the great Cecil B. DePill picks for the female lead. That's another thing. Couldn't you get anyone better than that old has-been? Well, <laughs> money was a factor there, too. I guess everybody you have involved came pretty cheaply, including me. Don't worry, Wilma. If things break right, we'll have enough money to do things in a first-class way, including take care of the production assistant. I sure hope so. This business of working for Penis has really got me down. I know. Well, Cecil, this is it. This is where the trials will take place. Max, you fool! How do you expect me, a great talent, to work in a, a hash house? I'm entitled to better things. Ah, oh, Cecil. Don't worry about it. Paul Provost over here tells me we'll have more money later on. But for now, we just gotta cut corners here and there. Paula, you call yourself a producer, and you make me work in a place that's far below my talent. Cecil, I have to be honest with you. One of the reasons I've had so much trouble finding investors for this show is that there are no big names involved. Names? Why, Cecil B. DePill is one of the biggest names in show business. I have many great movies to my talent. 